Motivation is, hey, I'm feeling great. I'm super motivated. I'm going to go do this hard workout, or I'm going to go knock out this project, or I'm going to go do some chores that I have on my task list because I'm super motivated. <laughs> Right? That's that's super. I'm glad that you're motivated today. But guess what? Tomorrow you won't be motivated. And then what do you do? Not do the workout, not do the tasks, not do the project because you weren't motivated. So motivation is good for about 15 minutes. But what you actually need is to have discipline, which is good permanently. As long as you maintain the discipline, it's always going to come through. This is what I want you to do. Write, write down what you would like to fix about your life. And then just if you're 30 pounds overweight, you want to lose 30 pounds, do it the right way. Go st start eating vegetables, monitor your calories, write down what you eat, exercise every day, force yourself to do it. Say you're the a general. The brain is the general, the troops are the body. You listen and you get up and you do it. And then you get to write it down. And if you don't write it down, you don't eat, you don't shower. <laughs> Write that down so you do it. It's like brushing your teeth. It's not something, I don't want to brush my teeth today. Uh, what do you want, your teeth to rot out of your head? Just do it. Just do it. Make yourself do it. Keep cool when other people get hot. I know you can agree with that one. But I'm not so sure that you'll always live up to it. We're inclined, all of us, to get hot when the other fellow gets hot. Say angry things when the other fellow starts saying angry things. I was in the home of the president of a big electric power company one evening when there came a storm and he called up one of his head men to go out to take care of an emergency that happened as a result of that storm. It was on Sunday evening. The man was gone about two hours and when he came back, he came up on the front porch of the home of this man and called him out on the porch and I never heard a man get such a tongue lashing in all my life as this president of the electric power company gets. You blankety blank blank, you think because you're the president of the company, blankety blank blank, and I'm just as good as you are, blankety blank blank. Oh, it was terrific. I only heard one side of the conversation because there was only one side of it. One man was doing all the talking, and one man was doing all the listening. And after this had been going on for fully three minutes, the other man ran out of wind and had nothing more to say. He was mad, you see, because they called him out on this stormy night. I heard the president close the door and he came back and he just smiled and said, why, the man was a little bit hot, wasn't he? That's all he said. A little bit hot, wasn't he? I expected any moment to hear a fist begin to fly out there. But you see, there was a man who had risen to great uh, heights of achievement financially and he had done it uh, by self-discipline. Self-discipline in every respect. And he didn't propose to allow a workman who had been temporarily unbalanced by his anger to throw him off balance and make him stoop to that level. He just didn't propose to have that done. And you'll notice when you get into an argument with anyone, and you're apt to if you don't watch yourself, that if you'll just remain silent while the other fellow's blowing off his top, he finally gets to the point where he's got no more top to blow off. Then if you want to get in a few words of your own, that's a mighty good place to do it. It's a mighty fine thing if the words that you get in are not the kind of the words you've been hearing. In other words, if you say something back kind in return, it's far better for the other fellow and far better for you. It shows you to be the bigger of the two persons. Life's about self-discipline. It is about self-discipline. We tend to do the things that are easy. And that is, the, it, it builds no mental toughness. It builds no mental hardening. It builds nothing. When you work out, Working out is where you can build that the fastest because it's a constant, it gives you instant feedback. Instant, yeah, you may not lose the weight you want to real fast, but the discipline it takes, it transfers over to all aspects of your life. It's not people, man, why are you always working out? Stop, stop looking at that way. This is the foundation of life. When you look in the mirror, every morning we all look in the mirror to get ready to go to work to go anywhere. The first thing you see is your reflection. If you don't like what you see in the morning, you lost the war already. It's not about even liking what you see. It's about looking in the mirror and you may start, man, I feel different. That reflection maybe not, that reflection is not everything. It's a feeling you're supposed to get. So you have to, in life, once you leave your house, the war begins. In your house, you have some control. And that reflection in that mirror, you have to control that reflection in the mirror. That's how you start your day. If you leave your house feeling like, okay, I can fight. I've established the mentality to fight. And that all that comes from working out. It's not just from, you know, you can't find that in the office. 
Well, my morning routine is every day I get up and run. Every single day. Because why? I hate that the most.